Check out this blizzard. I am up in the clouds, way up as a matter of fact. How about 6,500 feet? It's a long way down there. Snow's flying all over the place, and oh, wait for it. Yes, thunder snow, baby. How do I always get myself in these situations? We'll save that for another segment. All right, listen, this is a monster winter storm, but there's a wrinkle in the forecast. Let's take this down a little closer to the ground. I'll show you what I mean. All right, there is so much warm air feeding into this beast that these falling snowflakes are actually melting. In fact, most of the precipitation around me is rain, which is not good because down near the ground and on the ground, we've got temperatures holding at 29 degrees. Listen, the cold air is so dense, it remains locked in place. The warm air has to go up and over that cold air, and the rain doesn't have time to refreeze into sleep pellets. So now, we have to deal with accumulating ice. Just a tenth of an inch makes roads and sidewalks extremely slippery. A quarter of an inch can break branches and cause spotty power outages. And once you're over a half inch, serious problems ensue. Ice storms can cause billions of dollars in damage. They can hit ground transportation, aviation, and power sectors really hard. I mean, just look at these power lines. All right, those icicles must be, oh, gee! You gotta be kidding me. Where did that come from? That giant icicle just fell from his cell tower. These ice missiles can reach speeds of 90 miles an hour and land with a thousand pounds of force. Just look around. Ice collects on everything. Look at the stress on these power lines. Hundreds of pounds of excess weight causing them to sag and sometimes even snap the poles that they're attached to. And you know what? The same goes for the trees. Ice can increase the weight of the branches by 30 times. You hear that? Here it comes. Oh! Holy smoke! Whoa, and up! There goes the power! Power's out. Thank goodness nobody was sitting in that bench. You know what? Look around. There's nobody out here. Nobody on the roads. Businesses are shut down. Schools closed. That's exactly the way it should be when you have an ice storm of this magnitude. What the heck is that? Do you hear? You gotta be kidding me, a bus? I obviously spoke too soon. This is not gonna end well. Look, the bus is already starting to slide. Look at that. 150,000 plus accidents per year. It doesn't matter if you're in a heavy bus or a four-wheel drive. You're gonna slide on the ice. 40,000 people get injured on average. And you know what? I hope this bus stops. 500 people lose their lives. That's 500 too many. You know what? It's a good thing that there are no passengers on this bus. You don't ever want to be on the road in these conditions. You're putting yourself and others at risk. Stay at home and be ready to deal with an extended time without power because the crews are not going to be able to get to you oh! until the ice storm is stopped. I've had enough of this. Stay safe. I'm out of here.